Do you ever open a project and feel lost in the sea of unfamiliar code? It's like trying to find your way in a maze with no map. If you've ever felt like this, then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll dive into the strategies that will help you quickly get a grip on massive code bases without losing your mind. Whether you're a new developer trying to keep up, or an experienced coder facing a daunting project, you'll find the tools and techniques here to make sense of it all. Stick around, and by the end, you'll be navigating those code jungles like a pro. I have created 12-step framework to tackle any code base with few advices. And last advice is most critical to understand code base efficiently. So let's start. 1. Set your objective. Determine why are you going to understand the code base. Are you looking to understand its functionality, find bugs, improve performance, or gain insights for integration with other systems? This step is very beneficial as it helps you in. Efficiency. Knowing what you need to understand allows you to prioritize your time and effort, making the process more efficient. Focus learning. Having a clear objective helps you concentrate on specific parts of the code base relevant to your goals. This avoids getting overwhelmed by the entire code base. Having a clear objective helps to focus on relevant parts of the code base, avoiding unnecessary details that are not aligned with the goal. Goal alignment ensures that your understanding aligns with the specific goals of your project or task, whether it's debugging, adding features, or refactoring. Documentation navigation guides you in navigating through the documentation and other resources more effectively, focusing on the sections that matter most to your objective. Better questions. With a clear objective, you can ask more targeted and relevant questions when seeking help online or with others. Progress tracking. Setting an objective allows you to measure your progress and determine whether you are on the right track towards understanding and achieving your goal. Number two, state the purpose of project that code base represents. State clearly and in details what that code base is for, how it is being used, what it is serving. By doing so, this will help you in efficient use of time. Knowing the purpose helps prioritize which sections of the code are most critical to review and understand, leading to a more efficient use of time. Improved contextual understanding. It provides the necessary context to understand why certain decisions were made, such as design patterns, architecture choices, and specific implementations. Focused analysis. Understanding the purpose provides a clear direction helping to focus on relevant parts of the code base rather than getting lost in unnecessary details. But what to do when objective of code base is not self-evidence or clear? To solve this problem, gather any available documentation or resource, such as user manuals, design documents, API documentation, and comments within the code. These resources can provide valuable context and save time. Analyze code comments, Pay close attention to comments within the code itself, as they often contain insights into the code's purpose and functionality. But even if code base objective is clear, you should gather information resources. After completing these two steps, it's time to get big picture overview of the code base as it will help us to grasp the overall structure, design patterns, and key components. Number three, explore project structure. Start by Understand the directory hierarchy Begin by examining the project's folder structure to get an overview of how the code base is organized. Key directories to look for include SRC, Public, Components, Tests, Build, Docs. Configuration files provide critical information about how the project is set up, built, and run. Key configuration files to examine include Package.json Wetpack.config.js and .env. Number four, identify the entry point. Locate the main entry point. Find the primary starting point of the application where execution begins. This could be a main function in languages like C or C++, an app.java file in Java, or an index.js file in a node.js project. 
Identifying the entry point provides a foundational understanding of how the application initializes and starts its operations. Understand initialization logic. The entry point often contains critical initialization logic, such as setting up configurations, initializing dependencies, and starting services. By examining this code, you can gain insight into the application's initial setup and how different components are wired together. Follow execution flow. From the entry point, trace the flow of execution to understand how the program proceeds. Identify the key functions or methods that are called next, and follow the sequence of operations to get a sense of the application's structure and logic. Number 5. Evaluate the architecture. Examine the overall architecture. Understand the architectural style employed by the project, such as monolithic, microservices, layered, or event-driven. Determine how the application is organized into various modules, services, or layers and how these components interact. Identify architectural patterns. Look for common architectural patterns, example, MVC, MEVM, Singleton, Factory, and design principles used throughout the codebase. This can provide insights into the intended design and interactions within the codebase. This holistic view will help you prioritize your efforts. Number 6. Analyze dependencies. Check package managers. Explore third-party libraries, APIs and services, libraries and frameworks. Number 7. Establish a hierarchy by identifying critical components. Core functionality. Pinpoint the core components that provide essential functionality for the application. These might include key modules, services, controllers, or classes that are central to the application's operation. Infrastructure components. Identify components responsible for infrastructure-related tasks such as database access, authentication, logging, and error handling. Once you get the big picture of the code base and have information about code base structure, components hierarchy, and code base purpose, it's time to utilize these knowledge to create user and programmer stories according to code base. If it is a code base of a software or app that which users can interact with, then create user stories. My time has come. You must continue your journey without me. What, what? Take the time to document user stories that detail how users interact with the software. These stories should capture specific user actions, goals, and the pathways they follow within the application. By doing so, you not only clarify the purpose of various components but also illuminate their intended functionality within the broader user experience. This process helps you see the software from the user's perspective, making it easier to understand the overall design and flow of the application. Furthermore, user stories can reveal the rationale behind certain design choices, aiding in the identification of key features and their interdependencies ultimately making the code base more approachable and navigable. If that's not the case and it is some legacy code bases then, create programmer stories. Document programmer stories that describe how the original developers constructed and organized the application. This involves understanding their thought processes, rationale behind architectural decisions, coding patterns, design choices they made and the evolution of the code over time. By tracing the thought process behind the code, you can gain insight into the developer's mindset and the challenges they faced, why certain approaches were taken, what challenges were addressed, which will help you comprehend the structure, purpose, and functionality of the code more effectively and how they fit into the broader architecture. This practice is invaluable for unraveling complex code bases and preserving the context behind key implementation choices. Both can be done in appropriate situation. Now that you are done with this step, it's to delve into details. Read the code thoroughly. Begin by examining the code line by line. 
take detailed notes to build a mental model of its functionality and flow. Understanding the logic behind the code is essential for any modifications or enhancements you plan to make. Keep detailed notes of your observations, including the purpose of key functions, data structures, and algorithms. Diagrams can help visualize complex interactions. Number 9. Map the application flow. Trace the data flow. Follow the data path. Locate data processing points. Track variable assignments and function calls. Pay attention to database interactions. Understand control and logic flow. Do control flow analysis. Map out user interactions. Nail down business logic. Examine component communication. Visualize the flow. Make flow diagrams. Do event tracing. At this point, you will have solid understanding of the code base. Now it's time to test what you have learned. To do that, set up the environment. Ensure you have the necessary development environment to compile and run the code. This may involve setting up specific versions of programming languages, libraries, and tools. Number 11. Test hypotheses, modify, and experiment. Experiment with small changes. Validate your understanding. Analyze effects. Hands-on enhancement and fixes. Implement small enhancements. Utilize version control. Track changes with Git. Create branches for experiment. Revert changes when necessary. Number 12. Review similar code bases. Study open source projects. Identify relevant projects. Search for open source projects that are similar in scope technology stack, or functionality to the code base you are working on. Platforms like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket are excellent resources for finding such projects. Analyze common patterns. Examine these projects to identify common architectural patterns, coding conventions, and best practices. Look for how these projects structure their code, manage dependencies, handle data flow, and implement core functionalities. Aside from these steps, it is also important to seek help and resources. If you encounter challenges, consider reaching out to online forums or communities and LLMs for assistance. But even if you follow all these steps, there is high chance that your retention of all these information will be low. And how we even properly synthesize and organize all of this information without getting overwhelmed. To do that I recommend to make mind map. Group all the modules, components, or code blocks based on their functionality, behavior, and implementation. Consider how all these groups relate to each other, such as through cause and effect relationships, chronological sequences, or conceptual links. Express these relationships clearly in your mind map. Use symbols instead of words to represent different elements, and ensure the mind map has a clear direction or flow. Utilize arrows to demonstrate how the ideas in your mind map interact with each other. Emphasize the most important parts of the mind map by indicating clear and deliberate judgments about their significance. This will help in visually distinguishing the priority and relevance of various components within the codebase.